Welcome to Kunda Seven, a place where we explore interiors. Today, we are discussing ideas or tricks on how to make your small space, whether it's a bedroom or whether it's a living room, how to make it look bigger and become cohesive. I'm going to share with you 10 tips on how to get your small space look cohesive or look bigger. Point number one, use bright or light colors. And when I'm saying light colors, I'm not saying you go over board and you bring like the bright blue you bring the light green just overwhelm your space i'm talking about light soft colors so that you can create this cohesive environment it's a small space you don't want to go all the way like red all the way green all the way blue it will just overwhelm the place and make it feel problematic it would be a good idea if you went the other side of the soft light colors to give your space nice more calming so this will help your space look bigger and at the same time feel so calming not boring because if you go all the way like muted tones and you know it becomes so boring if you're someone that of course loves color it's okay if you don't love color and you're into mutuals uh, muted tones that's very okay i'm just saying for people who love color it's okay you can use the lighter shades of like blue or the lighter shades shades of uh, any other color that you love to make this whole place lovely but at the same time without going overboard i hope i make my point clear <laughs> Uh, another option that you're gonna focus on would be your lighting. Choosing hanging pendants instead of standalone lamps would be a good option for you if you have a small space. You are trying to create this cohesive space but in a small space. Let me say it's a bedroom. If it's a bedroom, instead of choosing bedside lamps which are asymmetrical, I would go for hanging pendants instead of instead of having asymmetrical bedside lamps because this will save you a lot of space if you live in a small space so being attentive when you're choosing your lighting options would really save you a lot of space and could help you create a cohesive space another option would be having a mirror in your space and this is especially for the living room it creates this illusion that the space is bigger by reflecting the other side of the room if you have a small space and you want it to look bigger have a wall mirror somewhere in the corner so that it can create an illusion or a reflection i know some people are like i have no mirrors mostly when it comes to the bedroom the reasoning uh, they don't want to watch themselves while they're in action most people don't look cute when they're in action i'm talking about the marriage if you're not married just switch off <laughs> But I do think that's really not a good reason enough because if you're married to someone, you love them of who they are. Okay, for some people who are like, I'm no mirrors in the bedroom, just use it in your living space so that you can create that illusion that the space is bigger. Hanging shelves, having hanging shelves in your space instead of having standalone shelves. Having hanging shelves on the wall, it creates that, like there is space under, whether it's enclosed or whether it's open shelving, but of course if you have so many things to keep i would really advise on cross shelving it doesn't really look cute like lately i don't really get this trend actually but it's trending right now open shelving in the kitchen like in most cases we have things to keep if you're someone like with a family you have so much things to keep open shelving is just for putting decorative things books maybe if it's in the living room like things that are really simple and look beautiful not like storage so if you want to make your small space look cohesive go for enclosed shelving if you need storage and uh, open shelving if you have a few things to keep exposed leg furniture you know there are these sofas which are like down on the floor it's um i don't know how to describe that but you do know what i mean probably i'm gonna show a picture of that instead of going through these furnitures which are down on the floor choose furniture that has some legs because it doesn't consume the place like it's taking over the whole place and consuming the whole space but if you're able to see under the chairs it creates the erosion that actually there is so much space in the room so instead of choosing furniture that is off the floor choose furniture that has exposed legs it would be 
a good idea. Avoid buying a little furniture, instead use multifunctional furniture. So if you have a small space, there are so many options right now that you can choose from. Like you can buy a sofa, which can also act as bed in the night, instead of buying the bed and then a sofa. So instead of buying a little furniture, go for multifunctional furniture that you can use for different purposes. So instead of buying a bed and then buying a sofa, at the same time, you could just invest in something that is multifunctional for both purposes. And this is for people, of course, who are enhancing their small spaces. If you have a big space, I think it's okay. You can buy a bed, you can buy a sofa at the same time. Avoid a lot of clutter. And trust me, everybody got clutter. Some of the things that you keep thinking like, oh my God, I may need this. And you haven't touched it in three years. If you have a small space or a small bedroom, a living room, and you're thinking like, oh my God, maybe someday we're gonna use this, but it's been three years and you haven't used it. It's time to give it away. I know it's so hard sometimes. Um, as someone who used to be tiny, I got lots of some clothes. I've given away some, but I still have some clothes that I keep with me and I keep thinking like, oh my God, I'm gonna reduce the weight. I'm gonna snap back and I will need this. But I haven't put on these dresses like in five years, so. I think it's Nemo, you know, the old one. If you want to create that cohesiveness in a space, you want to make your space look bigger and you have this stuff that you have in three used in three years, in four years, I think it's time to really do a declutter session so that you can really create that cohesiveness in the space. Create an open plan space. Take off all the doors. So if you have a tiny space and you really want it to make it look bigger, having doors like going to the dining room you got a door there you have a door going to the kitchen get off all the doors and create open space this will create the illusion that with the floor the place looks bigger so if you are someone that is looking forward and you know really improving your space and you really want to make it look bigger take off some of the doors that you have because doors really make it enclosed open plan makes it more open opt for minimalistic window treatments when it comes to a small space you have heavy heavy window treatment if you're one of the people light minimalistic window treatments would really do you great if you want to create this cohesiveness if you want to make your space feel like it's a little bigger because heavy heavy window treatments take a lot of space and it makes it feel heavy and more enclosed so if you want to make your space feel airy and bigger remove those heavy window treatments it will help a lot last but not least clear the floors i know this sounds so simple and so silly but clearing your floor will really make your space look bigger like if you have piles of shoes for instance at the entrance find storage for the shoes toys everywhere if you're a mom find storage for the toys you could have something uh, i haven't mentioned but if your floor has so many things all over the place just find storage for them and uh, you'll be good to go actually thank you so much for watching uh, i do appreciate you guys for being here don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like or comment also if you have an instagram account you can follow me though i'm not active now but soon i may be active but if you want to contact me or anything just dm me on instagram it's easier i guess i'll see you in my next video bye bye